Okay, we appreciate you still being here. I'd call on the weatherman John Qualiero for the weather report, the latest. Thank you, Governor. Uh, as of the 5 o'clock advisor from the National Hurricane Center, Irma is a Category 4 hurricane with winds of 155 miles an hour and is located about 345 miles southeast of Miami. There is increasing confidence that Irma will make landfall across southern Florida late Saturday night or early Sunday, then continue to track northward along the Florida Peninsula through early Monday. The forecast track then indicates Irma moving northwest across Georgia while weakening. While this is good news for South Carolina, the state will still experience impacts from Irma as it will be a large storm as it passes to the west. Any eastward shift to its track will only increase potential impacts. Perhaps the greatest concern will be the potential for storm surge inundation of low-lying coastal areas, mainly across the southern portion of the coast. We have been in close contact with the National Hurricane Center throughout the day and with uh, your local National Weather Service offices uh, to provide guidance on potential storm surge impacts. Given the current track of the storm, the National Hurricane Center is advising that four to six feet of inundation above normally dry ground is possible for south coastal regions of South Carolina. This could result in significant impacts to low-lying areas along the coast, including tidal waters that penetrate inland. Damage to docks and piers are possible, along with heavy beach erosion. Barrier Island and low-lying coastal roadways could become flooded. Uh, in addition, south and west of Interstate 26, there's potential for strong tropical storm force wind gusts of 50 to 70 miles per hour, especially along the immediate south coast. These winds could cause scatter, scatter damage to trees and power lines, as well as some possible minor damage to structures. Elsewhere, 30 to 50 mile an hour wind gusts are possible and also likely result in some power outages. Four to six, seven inches of rainfall with isolated amounts of 10 inches are possible and could lead to flash flooding. In addition, minor to moderate river flooding is also a concern next week after these rains occur. Uh, one last thing is also with Red 4 tornadoes as the storm approaches and moves inland. Scattered tornadoes are possible south and west of Interstate 26, uh, where the strongest winds will be located. However, isolated tornadoes cannot be rolled out elsewhere across the state. That's all I have. Thank you. Thank you. Starting at 10 a.m. tomorrow, Saturday, September the 9th, 2017, I'm ordering the mandatory evacuation of the following barrier islands located in these counties, Colleton County, Beaufort County, and Jasper County. That is the barrier islands in those three counties only. There will be no other evacuations for any counties other than these three, and that is limited to these barrier islands that I'm mentioning now. In Colleton County, it will be Edisto Beach. In Beaufort County, it will be these islands, Dolfusky, Fripp, Harbor, Hunting, and Hilton Head Islands, those in Beaufort County. Say again, Dolfusky, Fripp Island, Harbor Island, Hunting Island, and Hilton Head Island. In Jasper County, there are two, Knowles, K-N-O-W-L-E-I-S Island, and Tullifini Island, T-U-L-L-I-F-I-N-I. Those are the two in Jasper County. That is the, those are the only places in which evacuation is being ordered. For the citizens outside of these areas in these three counties, that is Colleton, Beaufort, and Jasper, I encourage them to seek shelter if they have concerns for their personal safety and always plan ahead. And now is the time to plan if you have not already done so. The storm surge, according to the latest forecast by the National Hurricane Center, the southernmost coast of South Carolina is expected to experience a storm surge from four to six feet above ground level, with the greatest chances for serious flooding occurring on Monday. This is also complicated by higher than normal tides due to the full moon and by strong tropical force winds. Lane reversal. State law enforcement officials, South Carolina Department of Transportation maintenance personnel, 
and the National Guard will be on hand to assist with traffic issues in these three counties. If the need for lane reversal arises in those three counties, local law enforcement officials in coordination with state law enforcement officials will make those decisions. Shelters will be operating in these places, the Colleton Middle School in Colleton County, that's the Colleton Middle School in Colleton County, the Ridgeland High Junior and Elementary School in Jasper County, that's one school, the Ridgeland High Junior and Elementary School in Jasper County, and in Beaufort County, Bluff, excuse me, Bluffton High School and the Battery Creek High School in Beaufort County, that is Bluffton High and Battery Creek High School in Bluffton in Beaufort County. While there are no plans to activate shelters other than these in South Carolina, we are capable of opening others if the need arises. As for health care facilities, which we've mentioned before, my executive order issued remains in effect for those counties, and that is Beaufort, Colleton, and Jasper counties. As for tolls, I have suspended tolls on the Cross Island Parkway located on Hilton Head Island. General? Thank you, Governor. Uh, all of Team South Carolina, from your local government all the way uh, through the governor, uh, we're very concerned with safety, uh, security, and to do any necessary uh, infrastructure restoration uh, post-storm. Uh, therefore, uh, State Law Enforcement uh, Division, uh, Department of Natural Resources, uh, Department of Public Safety, Triple P, uh, the uh, uh, South Carolina Department of Transportation, and the National Guard uh, will remain in support of the counties as long as it's necessary. Uh, we're not uh, declaring this disaster over. Uh, we are uh, taking a very cautious approach, and we will remain uh, to make sure that we properly support our local law enforcement and county uh, restoration efforts. Thank you. And I say again, weather is unpredictable. We are making our best judgment based on the just best judgment of many professionals throughout these states and based on the history of what prior storms have done. And this is our best judgment. We'll be glad to respond to questions. How many people does this how many people just are being ordered to evacuate from these barrier islands? I don't know how many are still on the islands uh, right now, to tell you the truth. Does anybody want to? Do we don't know how know. many people live there? Probably less than a thousand at this point. Yeah, uh, Hilton Head's going to be the biggest one. Yes. 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 Next question. Okay, yes, sir. I noticed on the way down here from Greenville this afternoon, there was a lot of traffic heading westbound at Interstate 26. A lot of it probably coming from the Charleston area. What do you have to say to the people that might be on 26 westbound right now? It, it, are they are they basically being cautious by heading northward and out of this area, or would you recommend that they go back? That's up to them. It's all in a situation like this. It's always best to be cautious because the weather can change. And if something happens, we'll be back here. Speaking so if, if there's another shift, say, in the next update, is it possible that more evacuations could be called? Anything is possible. Yes, ma'am. Do state workers report to work next it week? It depends on the county. They should go by what the county does in which they are located. And I, we ask everybody to remember, we, we have a lot of visitors coming through from Florida and Georgia, and we want to want to try to accommodate them as, as much as we can, just as they would if we were we're headed in their direction. And uh, on that point, uh, Director Parrish is here. Yeah, just in regard to those folks that are on I-95, particularly those evacuees from, from Florida and Georgia, there is availability throughout most of the state, but also something they may not realize is that Myrtle Beach and uh, there's availability along the coast now as well for those that uh, want to be away from the cone. Thank you. Any more questions? Thank you very much and we'll keep you informed. Thank you. <laughs>